just like to say good evening to everybody. And we've just had a, a wonderful service here tonight. And I'm with my grandson, Bryce Asher. And uh, we just like to praise the Lord tonight for WOJC. We've been coming, coming down here now for many years. And uh, we just like to say uh, we'd like for everybody to keep supporting the ministry here and lift up Sister Margaret and all the staff here in prayer each night. And uh, we just like for uh, if you're if there any way that you can to send in uh, donations or contributions to help the ministry here, I'm sure it would be um, blessed, and you would be blessed by doing that. And with just a lot of church groups and a lot of uh, ministers, a lot of singing groups come gather here each and every night, and they they pray. We have phone operators upstairs each and every uh, night, and we're just uh, uh, just it's just a wonderful uh, event, and a wonderful. Uh, place to come and sing and feel the Spirit of the Lord that, that's with us here in this chapel. So uh, we just encourage you to keep up the good work of prayer and support the ministry here. And we love you and God bless you. Good evening and welcome to the service tonight. We're starting a brand new week and we trust that you have plans to stay with us uh, because we'll be here every night except Wednesday night at uh, 7 o'clock. And we, uh, we want you to join with us each night because we have different singers each night and a different prayer request here from different people. and. It's a different uh, service each night, so be sure and, and plan to uh, meet with us. And uh, so we have uh, some prayer requests already in, and we'll be sharing that a little later. But, of course, I always think about those that could not read your Bible today. And we want to read a few verses for, for you. And tonight we have... Um, uh, chosen Matthew 24. You've heard a lot of songs about Matthew 24 and a lot of things. Now it's a, it's a really a good long chapter. It has thir uh, 51 verses, so we'll not read all that, but we will read enough that it will get you thinking about what Jesus was saying. And these are the words of Jesus. So just stay, uh, stay with us now. Matthew 24, starting with the third verse. And as he sat down upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when these things are going to be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and the end of the world. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. That was the number one thing he said. And how many people are being deceived today by false doctrine and a lot of just homemade uh, things that are not according to Scripture. But that was the first thing Jesus said. Take heed or be careful that you don't let any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes, in divers places. And all these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. What does that mean? If your love for the Lord is wax cold, then you, you won't be found in church. You won't be found uh, with the Lord's people. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. 
Okay, he's giving you both pick both sides. There's some that's going to wax, their love's going to wax cold, they're going to drop out, they're going to lose out, they're going to lose their soul. But he said the ones that endure until the ends, the ones that will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Now that just through the 14th verse. We're going to stop there because we have a lot of good singing tonight. But if you can possibly read Matthew 24, it would be worth it because it's Jesus telling us what to expect, what to look for. A lot of folk now are saying that, you know, the coming of the Lord has to be so close because so many things are being fulfilled. And how that the gospel is being preached to all nations. And, you know, through the Internet now, the gospel from this hill is reaching around the world. And so we know that it says when... when uh, uh, when this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all of the world for a witness unto all nations, then shall the end come. That's what Jesus said. That's when it's going to happen. All right. Uh, we trust that you're ready for the coming of the Lord because, uh, you know, we don't know when it's going to be our time to meet the Lord, either by death or by the rapture when he comes back. We will, uh, we will know, we will know then. So remember to read if you possibly can Matthew 24, and that is it's a wonderful chapter, and yet all of it is written of the words of Jesus. So you can stand on it, you can bank on it, you can believe everything that it said, and it. Uh, you know, we might think, well, that's unpleasant. I don't like to think about the end of the world coming, but. Uh, we have to face it. And that's why that the urgency to share the gospel and try to get people saved, that's why that is in the heart of every born-again Christian is to really, really a witness for the Lord and try to uh, teach others how good, he, how much He loves, how much He loves them and what He wants to do for them. Because, you know, we don't want a service to go by here without telling you how that you can be be saved and if the end should come then you would be ready now uh this uh miss uh, flora loudon she usually calls but every night but her daughter called tonight and said she had uh, a lot of teeth cut out and so she's not able to talk but uh, uh miss loudon wanted prayer for herself and her nieces and and grandchildren so um Dottie has a crew up there to pray with you if you want to call. And we're going to believe the Lord for a good service. Because you know the Lord never changes. People do. Oh my goodness how people change. Some for the better and some for the worse. But the choice is yours. You know, the, we live and die by the choices we make. And when you make bad decisions, you know, the end results is pretty rough sometimes. But... The Lord wants us to make wise decisions. He wants to give us wisdom. He wants to help us to make decisions that will bless us and not harm us. All right, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now and we thank you that you have left this, uh, in, uh, this scripture for us as an in instruction. We can follow it. We can be aware of what you said and what you're planning and so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to have mercy on our nation, how far it has gone from what it was founded upon. Lord, we ask for a revival to hit our nation. Let people truly repent of their sins and their wicked ways and ask you to come into their heart. And we know that a nation changes one at a time. And so tonight, for each person that has joined us, Lord, let their prayer be that we once again see revival in our land and that evil will be driven out by the love of the Lord that comes into our hearts. Bless our singing group. Bless the phone operators and the ones that will be calling. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, well, where's our singers? Uh, we have uh, 
We have a group with us tonight that uh, looks like they have some brand new, brand new CDs. I have not seen these. All right, show I'll show you the CDs, and we we do have with us tonight the Kentucky Mountain Trio, and they have a Corbin address. The phone number is 606-376-2498, and they're from the Wolf Creek Baptist Church in Stearns, Kentucky. And so, uh, looks like we're are about ready. Um, okay, here comes. All right, they do have a couple of new CDs. And one looks like it uh, has twelve songs on it, and another one has, um, I believe that's fourteen songs. Fourteen. That's good. I th I feel like I get a bargain when I get more than a, more than ten songs on a on a CD. So, well, here's their new CDs, and you'll want to order them. And from from them now, from them we. Uh, so that number to write down is 606-376-2489. So let's welcome the Kentucky Mountain Drill. That's 2498. What did I say? 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. 89. And we're going to try a song here called He Saw the Doll. I was working in town one afternoon Tending some business of fire And I heard a commotion a couple streets over What's happening there? A young man was running from in that direction and stopped just to catch his breath. I asked him to please tell me what was the hurry. Trust me, as the blind man, he saw it all. Now, friend, when the troubles and burdens you carry are heavy and dragging you down, you've tried everything you can possibly think of. There's no relief to be found That very same Jesus that altered the future Blind man, the deaf and lame Still reaching out in your hour of trouble One touch and you're never the same You'll be trying to catch the crippled man home to tell everyone what Jesus did today. And the mute man was telling myself and the deaf girl he's leaving to answer God's call. It's hard to believe, but if you don't trust me, ask the blind man, he saw it all. Don't 
thank the Lord for that. Good song there, and I'm glad the help of my eyes one day. Amen. Just so good to be saved. Pray for us. We try our little part.
presence of my blessed Savior. salvation in the part of my life and so thankful for it so good to be saved appreciate the Lord for it he's been so good to me try this one now. First time we did it was yesterday. <laughs> so you just pray for us.
one. We'll try this one here. And uh, I'm going to send this out. And I believe I got the names right. Uh, this fella asked me to send him out a song a long time ago. Uh, but his name was Joe. Joe and Becky Smith, his wife. Uh, but I also want to send this song out to everybody that's asked me. I know there's been different people and don't want to leave nobody out. So we'll send this out to everybody. Uh, most of all, I want to send it out to the Lord. The name of the song is called Welcome, Welcome Home. There's a day just out in front of us I know we'll surely come That eastern sky will open wide Revealing God's dear Son And I know from here to heaven It's but a twinkling of an eye In the midst of all these days I'm going home and that song's just been a great blessing to me and I hope that everybody can say that they're going I know that there'll be more that'll go down to hell than go to heaven but I hope and pray that somebody lost will be saved before it's everlasting too late don't want nobody to go but we know that there are going to be some that go but I'm glad that I'm going to heaven I'm so thankful that I'm going so good to be saved I'm going to try to do one here for you tonight, and I want to send this program out to my wife, Jan, there in Somerset, and her son, Billy, and all my family around Somerset, and Nancy, and Science Hill, and my daughter down in Pine Knot, and her, and my twin granddaughters, and all my friends at Denham Street Baptist Church. It's one called, Devil Don't Stop at My House, You Can't Live Here Anymore. I'm 
up in my house, you can't live here anymore. Every room is occupied by Jesus Christ the Lord. And if you pass by my house, don't knock upon my door. Devil don't stop in my house, you can't live here anymore. Bobby says sometimes we kicked him out, <laughs> but uh, we're, we're thankful to be here tonight, and we'll introduce everybody to you here. Uh, over on the end, we thank him for his help. Anytime we holler at him to come help us, he'll help us, and thankful for the Lord's people that they'll help you. Mr. Bobby Dalton on the banjo, thank you. Thank you. and next to him on the guitar is Ryan Greer, and next to uh, him on the fiddle is Heidi Greer, and over here on the bass is Brandon Clark. My name's Israel Clark, Kentucky Mountain Trio. So good to be here. Most of all, I'm glad that I'm saved. We'll try another song here for you. You want to do uh, I think you may. Sure. She's going to try a song been a great blessing to me. Uh, it's called Come Back to Me, and it's sort of about the prodigal son, and I believe it's a perfect example of what uh, we have with Jesus, our Heavenly Father. And just, just listen to the words of this song. I believe it'll be a blessing to you. Dreams. The world was my master 
try one more song here for you, but I'm glad that uh, he said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. And I'm glad that he gave me rest one day when I come to him. I uh, didn't have to worry about the thought of going to hell no more. Glad I've got an eternal home in heaven on these days. Don't have to worry about it. We got a request for uh, No Longer an Orphan. We'll try it. My clothes were ragged The world looked down on me I had no hope for tomorrow Nor for eternity Then grace came with mercy And heard this orphan's plea And now I've been adopted From the bondage I've been set free No play. 
thankful for that. Good to be safe. All right, you've been listening to Kentucky Mountain Trio, and they have uh, new CDs, a couple of them, and, and let me give you their phone number exactly as I see it, 606-376-2498, and they will uh, answer that and tell you uh, all about uh, their CD and where, how you may purchase it. There's a number of calls came in from Lexington, wanted to hear the, uh, uh, Daryl from Lexington wanted to hear, uh, Precious Lord Take My Hand, Jerry from Knox County, no longer an orphan, so they just did that one, and this one is uh, Lynn uh, for, from Sandy Hook, wanted to hear Living Prayer, and uh, uh, someone wanted to hear Paul's Ministry, and complimenting singers on that one and here's another one uh, from Jan, Jean I guess it is, it said she's been watching uh, the Kentucky Mountain Trio since uh, they were just young kids and uh, uh, that uh, they're enjoying that well uh, they're going to take a short break and they'll be, they'll be back with us but we have some uh, prayer requests we want to share right now. And this one especially, uh, a call came in from Brother Shane Gabbard. Now, you know Shane's been here to preach and to help us in the telethons and so forth. And he just called. And he said that his, uh, his dad, which is Garland Gabbard, he's been a pastor for a long time and... He was preaching yesterday at Steve Wilkerson's church, and during the service, um, Brother Garland Gabbard had a severe stroke, and he's in the Central Baptist Hospital in Lexington, and so Brother Shane and the family is there with him, and then someone else called uh, in about the same, uh, same prayer request for Garland Gabbard, pastor of the... Uh, Letterbox uh, Baptist Church over in Jackson County. So, uh, Brother Shane wanted everyone to pray for his dad, and we would do the same if if we uh, if it was our dad that uh, he a fine person that's led been a leader in the community for a long time. So let's remember um, Brother Garland Gabbard that's had a severe stroke while uh, while preaching. But, you know, that's that's good. If that's the way you, you want to go, that uh, the Lord knows when to take us home. He knows when we've had enough of this world, and he, and he says, come on home. But we'll pray for God's will to be done in his life. We don't know what his will is, but God does. Uh, here is uh, Norma, his call for Wade from Leslie County that's in the hospital. From Jasmine County, Thomas has been bitten by a spider and is in the hospital. A mom has called for about a son that is in, he's 49 years of age and he's lost his will to live and he's in a group home. A husband has called for his wife that uh, she had uh, surgery on her foot. A mom has called for a daughter that was in a car accident and had a leg rebuilt, and it is in a lot. Of, she's in a lot of pain tonight. A mother has called for a son that's in jail and he needs to come home. Uh, Charlotte has called for Chris having seizures, and also Charlotte needs prayer. Uh, Isabella has called for Sabrina. Um, found a spot on her uh, breast and having an MRI tomorrow. Here's a mother called for a daughter that has cancer. And this one is for a little baby that's only four months old. Now we're going to get to see a beautiful baby here just in a minute. But this little baby is only four months old and is called in by Lucinda. And the baby has leukemia and the doctors is saying the baby will... Uh, probably just live another four weeks or so. A little four-month-old baby with leukemia and just been given four weeks to live. A mother has uh, had lost a foot uh, to, uh, due to diabetes, and so that's from Mount Sterling. Evelyn, uh, someone has, uh, this is a praise report. 
Evelyn has called uh, for her, uh, she'd been calling for her sister that has cysts removed from her thyroids and the results are back and it was not cancer. And thanks for praying, she said. All right, well, we have, uh, we are going to uh, show you that baby we're talking about because um, since Dottie and I are the only grandmothers here tonight, we checked out the baby before we did the big people. So um, you can come over here, Heidi, and uh, we, uh, we, we love these little old babies. They're just so sweet. Oh my goodness, look how you've grown. Ah, look here, let's give your mama a, a mic over here and uh, mm. let her talk. Or do you want to talk? Hmm? Okay, mama, tell us all about her. How old well, is she now? She just turned nine months old yesterday. Ah. <laughs> nine months old. And she loves Elmo. You love Elmo. And look at that. <laughs> Hey. Say hi. Are you going to say something? Huh? You going to talk to us? You going to talk to us? Is she trying to walk or anything? Uh, she's trying learning how to crawl. Oh, to crawl. Yep. Okay. I'm going to look at those little, nice little shoes. She has grown so much. What, what, is she a good baby? She oh, sleep yeah. good? All through the night. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. You are a good one. Say hi. She got any teeth? Yep, she's got two. Her bottom two. two. Ooh. Yep. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, we disagree. We will agree with you. We'll agree with you. Does Grandma get to keep her all the time? Yeah. Most of the time? Yeah. A lot. Okay. Well, she'll look at there. Look at there. She's not in a laughing mood yet, but she's a she's a really sweet. Oh, there she's <laughs> laughing! Oh. <laughs> Did he get you to laugh? So yeah. yeah, that is a sweet baby. So oh well, well I'm glad you brought her, Heidi, and let us see how she's growing and how the Lord's blessed her with a blessed you with a good healthy baby. Good, healthy baby. She's something else. Good, healthy baby. Yeah, he got you live, didn't he? <laughs> You'll have to be singing. You'll have to help them sing right away. You going to help them? Say yep. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we'll we'll let let's see unhook you here. Oh, yeah. um, might trip you, up, trip you up on that. Well, thanks, Heidi, for sharing the baby with us, and she'll go back to the to the singing, and and we'll uh, we'll have some more music. Uh, uh, all right, we you're listening to the Kentucky Mountain Trio, and they. Uh, I'm still not sure about the name. They say trio, but I. Is there more than three over there or not? <laughs> but anyway, that's what they've gone by before. So we'll we'll just uh, we'll agree with them. Oh, that's fine. So okay, Heidi, what are y'all gonna do now? Uh, we would try that uh, Paul's ministry, but uh, it's been a long time and. Uh, I mess it up real bad, so I better not do that. But uh, brother called in. His name was George Caldwell. Wants us to do. God had a plan, and uh, this is a song that the Lord blessed me with, and uh, I thank the Lord for it. And we'll try it for you. But I, I'd like to say that uh, I got a call from uh, brother Shane, as she's talking earlier, uh, Shane Gabbard, and he's talking about his dad. Uh, let's be praying for his dad. And I was going to mention that, but it slipped my mind. And, that reminded me, but uh, we need to keep people in our prayers. Uh, when God's people ask us to pray for somebody, that's what we need to do. And I, I know the Lord can bring him through it. He's, uh, he's brought, I've seen the Lord bring people through things and perform miracles before. And I know we can do it. But, uh, I'm glad he had a plan for me.
When Jesus was a baby, there was some wise men that came his way. Saw the young child with its mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Being warned in a dream, they should not return to Herod. They departed into their own country another way. Send his son for me and you to die on the cross so that we could be saved. And I know I've been redeemed by his blood he shed for me. And one day I'm going home to live with.
interesting. I'm going to do a song here called He Didn't Stay Dead, He Won't Stay Gone. I'm glad that he lives. Amen. He ain't dead. He's a living God. Amen. True and living God. Jesus told his disciples of things to come. He will be persecuted. to think about that. I know that he ain't going to stay gone. He's going to come back and he's going to take me home. Amen. I'm looking forward to it. I 
Thank him for letting me have life. Uh, breathing his air. Amen. It's all his. And I thank him for every bit of it.
their money for the hard times that's to come. Planning for the futures of their daughters and their sons. But when life down here on earth is through and they face the judgment throne, the only thing that matters is if to your soul belongs. The only thing that matters is if you've been born again, has the blood been applied. this last one here for you. I'm going to dedicate this one to um, Nita Eggers. She lives in Somerset and she's a dear friend of ours. Um, wish she could be here with us, but we understand. And um, this is one that I wrote. It's called I'm Going Home. I'm gonna 
Say it's good to be back at WOJC once again. I also want to dedicate that song to uh, some friends of mine that asked me to sing Somebody's Praying, but we didn't get around to it, and um, that's also for you guys. And also to my friends Gary Epperson and Lanny Smith that came out here and in memory of Leonie Epperson. All right. Thank you, young people. Uh, the Kentucky Mountain Trio, they do have uh, two brand-new CDs that you will want to uh, purchase by calling 606 Three seven six twenty four ninety eight, and you'll be able to get a hold of them uh, there. And um, uh, Heidi, did you have a, a singing engagement sometime this month that you wanted to mention? Uh, I think that uh, your your mom said something about whispering. Whispering Pines near Monticello. What day is that? Okay. okay. If you want the number to uh, this church, it's over in Monticello. Uh, if you want the number, just call uh, Gladys. Uh, we also have um, a website. You. you can look on there. It's www.kentuckymountrio.com, and our schedule's on there. Okay. All right. Several uh, people have called and said they... Uh, enjoyed the music and uh, one lady said you had a beautiful baby so uh, we agree and she is a she's a lively one a good one a sweet one sleep. oh she's asleep now well 
Uh, well, you know what? We have a praise report here. There's a lady that is called tonight, and she had COPD, and she needed to make things right with God, and she did. She accepted the Lord as her personal Savior. So that's a salvation report tonight. So that is wonderful. And we uh, definitely uh, want to pray uh, for um, uh, Brother Shane Gabbard's dad. Uh, he's the pastor, uh, Garland Gabbard, the pastor of the Letterbox Baptist Church. And he's had a severe stroke yesterday while preaching at Steve Wilkerson's church. And he's in the Central Baptist Hospital in Lexington. And that is Garland Gabbard, pastor of the Letterbox uh, Baptist Church. And Brother Shane has uh, let us know that. And we will definitely be praying uh, for him. And we're going to do that here shortly. The Watts family from Letcher County has had a death in the family, and they, uh, they need prayer. Uh, from Lincoln County, Austin is four years old, and he fell off a lawnmower and cut his leg up real bad. And uh, if they get infection in it, they might lose his toes. Uh, the Bowman family from Frankfurt has lost a loved one in death. Edith uh, has called from Whitesburg for a brother-in-law that's in UK hospital having emergency surgery from Letcher County uh, for a sister Donna. Uh, her husband passed away last, uh, last Friday night. Uh, this number, uh, this call is from Randy uh, for Susan and enjoyed the group and they have back problems there. Uh, Fred and family. Fred is in the St. Joe Hospital in Lexington and he wanted prayer for himself and his family. He called himself. Uh, it just says Fred and family. Uh, uh, someone from Laurel County has a son and a daughter that's been in a car accident and needs prayer. Pauline from Owsley that's uh, in the Berea Hospital with pneumonia. A friend has called for Cassandra that has cancer. Uh, a lady from Rock Castle needs uh, prayer for her daughter. Here's another uh, cancer. A grandmother has called for a granddaughter, Monica. Wilma for Trina of uh, Harlan. Shirley from Somerset having trouble breathing and also concerned about some others. And there's uh, several several more here that's... Uh, uh, that we have, we'll not have time to mention because our time is really getting away. But we appreciate each one of you that has called, and appreciate the lady that gave her heart to the Lord tonight. And so let's just pray and ask the Lord's blessing on uh, these requests. They've asked. What we do is we ask, and then we. Pray, we believe, and we start thanking the Lord, and then start looking for the answer. You know, we're going to be looking for it. And a lady we went to visit the other day in the hospital, uh, the Lord touched her, and she got to come home yesterday. And so that was a real miracle because she was a very sick, sick person. We got more requests in here. Uh, uh, people enjoying the, the singing group and uh, different. Uh, here's someone watch, uh, watches WRLJC every night, enjoyed the singing uh, group uh, so much tonight. And uh, someone having biopsy done on their lungs and uh, on and on. All right, let's, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you because you do answer prayer. You know what our needs are, and all these folk, Lord, that is represented here. We thank you for this lady that gave her heart to you tonight, and we know now she has someone to heal her and someone to help her and someone to be her companion. And it is a, so wonderful to live for the Lord. As, as I listened to this young man testifying a while ago what it meant to him to be saved and to know the Lord, we know that this is true regardless of what age you are. And so I thank you that... For this lady, we pray for protection and healing to come her way. And Lord, all these other requests, uh, several that families that have lost loved ones, and then also, Lord, the ones with cancer, the ones in the hospital, the ones with uh, Brother uh, Garland Gabbard that had the stroke, and others, uh, all these needs, 
Lord, we just hold them up to you. And we ask for your mercy and your will to be done concerning each one of our lives. We know that you want us to submit ourselves totally to you. And that's what we want to do in the behalf of these people tonight. Bless bless this singing group, Lord. Continue to keep them close to you and keep them safe on the road. And uh, Lord, give us the ability to work while, while it's still day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we once again, let me just briefly tell you about her, about the singing group. Uh, uh, the uh, Kentucky Mountain Trio has two new CDs that you will want to get because they I know they will be good because a very talented group. And uh, pray for them that they always keep their talent dedicated to the Lord. Our time has come and gone for another night. So from all of us here, we want to say good night and God bless you. There's a long line waiting at the hill of Calvary Needing someone to tell them of the love that sets me Bro.